unsettling foreboding. Megan's envy boiled over as she watched Charles give Kate more and more special treatment. Good day, pals. Royal Family News Update welcomes you to the world of breaking news about the royal couple most famous for their hypocrisy, Harry and Meghan Markle. Princess Diana described the special way in which the late Queen and all those who are regrettably no longer with us are remembered at the annual Westminster Abbey Christmas Carol service she leads. In an emotional introduction for tomorrow's airing of Royal Carols, together at Christmas, Kate describes Queen Elizabeth's love of the holiday season as a time that draws people together and reminds us all of the vital values. The 40-year-old princess first event was such a success that she decided to repeat it this year with the intention of making it an annual tradition. She went on to say that the event reminded me of what I enjoy most about Christmas, watching people come together, celebrating, and having unique moments, while also thinking about the year that has gone. This year marks the first holiday season without Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. The holiday brought people together, reaffirmed the importance of faith, family, and friendship, and inspired Her Majesty to be more empathetic and understanding. The princess invited hundreds of inspiring individuals from across the country to this year's service in recognition of their contributions to society. They illustrate the power of connection and community values enabling us to continue Her Majesty's legacy of recognizing and honoring people who have gone above and beyond to help others, as she put it. Her Majesty leaves us with an amazing legacy that has profoundly influenced many of us, she remarked. This year's Christmas carol service will remember her and all those we've lost too soon. Christmas may be very different this year, but we can always think back on the traditions we've shared. Take it easy and savor the season with loved ones by taking part in the simple pleasures that make this time of year special. During her visit to the Abbey last week, as final preparations were being made for the event, she tapped her message. She sported a self-portrait black sequin knit crop cardigan that cost £400. The ceremony, held at Westminster Abbey on December 15 and sponsored by the Royal Foundation, was attended by many senior royals, including their majesties the king and queen consort. Tomorrow evening at 7 p.m., tune in to ITV1 to catch Catherine Zeta show. Jonas in addition to praise for Her Majesty the Queen, the publication will feature brief documentaries about people who have gone out of their way to help others. The princess was especially eager to highlight the efforts of Ina Rihorovich the headmistress of St. Mary's Ukrainian School in London, whose responsibilities have increased dramatically since the crisis in Ukraine began. In this scene, Kate presents Ms. Rihorovich with a letter of thanks for all the help she has given to the school's families and students. The letter continues with an invitation from the princess for Ms. Rihorovich and the choir from St. Mary's Ukrainian School to sing a carol at the Westminster Abbey ceremony. As one boy put it, his father in Kharkiv was proud of me and astounded to hear that he had performed for the British royal family at Westminster Abbey. One Ukrainian observer, calling the performance very cool, mentioned that the choir had to memorize the English lyrics to Away in a Manger for the event. Their rendition of Away in a Manger is beautiful, featuring the Westminster Abbey choir, pop star Craig David, soul singer Alexis French and a special duet by tenor Alfie Bow and former Spice Girl Melanie C. There were readings from the Prince of Wales, Dame Kristen Scott Thomas, and activist Nicola Adams. Actress Sophie Winkleman, who is married to Lord Frederick Windsor, the son of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent and the 52nd in line to the throne, has praised senior royals for being so hard-working, uncomplaining, and brave despite undermining and fictional TV programs about the family. As Big Sue's in the sitcom Peep Show, the 42-year-old actress joined senior royals at the Carol concert in Westminster Abbey. In my opinion, there is no other evidence that can be used other than what we see to judge Kate versus Meghan. Beyond that, you're just hearing rumors or making assumptions. By insulting the British monarchy and the general populace, Meghan is enriching herself financially. One is her husband's family, and the other is the group that paid for her extravagant wedding and the horrendously expensive renovation of a house she would never live in. Kate gets things done with minimal fuss. 
She's smarter and more motivated than William's mom, Diana, and she's already made a positive impact in the world. When she's not busy lecturing, Megan likes to tell us how we should live our lives. Kate doesn't just talk the talk, she puts it into action. Kate is actually carrying out her plan by holding this concert, meeting with, and paying tribute to the regular folks she has invited. To put it another way, I think the other person's life would be much more pleasant if she could just understand that doing the work herself is probably easier than paying a company to make it look like she is. Meanwhile, Kate comes across as a genuine and friendly person because that's who she really is. And we can tell without her having to pay anyone to tell us, it's plain to see. Regardless of the accusations made by the anonymous couple, I, as a proud American, applaud Catherine and William for their efforts. They've maintained Queen Elizabeth's legacy by carrying on her class and grace. It's unfortunate that the American people have to put up with a hateful couple that acts more and more like politicians every day. I really wish the press would start referring to our fantastic Princess of Wales as Catherine instead of Diana. This lady is now the royal family's brightest star, and she should be treated as such. She has matured into her new position as queen with poise and elegance, and she is dedicated to upholding the traditions of her late mother-in-law and the late queen. If William were to support the causes that Diana cares about, she would be ecstatic. Catherine's dedication to the monarchy and country is exemplified by the extra effort she has made to provide this unique service. Hopefully, it will become a yearly tradition. If you think our monarchy will disappear anytime soon, you're living in denial. American commenters on this post, please have a wonderful holiday season and know that the absence of Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan will not be felt by the British military. I wish you all the best this holiday season. Doing us all proud, Kate. You've never shown any disrespect for the United States. Things will never be the same without our late queen, but I will be damned if I let anyone destroy our history or our monarchy for their own agenda. To the king, with God's help, we stand. So far, one year into the queen's absence, what do you think of Kate's various roles in supporting the royal family? Post your responses in the space provided below. This video was made with the intention of being useful, and we certainly hope that it has been. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and give it a like. Please enjoy the next video in this newsletter series and thank you for watching. Goodbye.